Hi, I'm Chris Keelty here with ACLU of Pennsylvania. I'm here with Steve Gerald, who was a witness for us today in the voter ID case. Um, Steve, first off, you are a veteran, correct? That is correct. I'm a veteran. I served four years in the U.S. Air Force. And what do you do now? I currently work for a union, SCIU Local 668. Okay. And um, you had testified to your opposition to the photo ID requirement. I did, yes. And um, as part of that opposition, you uh, went and checked out a, a PennDOT location, correct? That is correct. I went to the Franklin County PennDOT in Chambersburg, um, stood in line for a good 45 minutes. And basically, I was there to do a site visit to look around, see if they had information, signs, talk to the people, things like that. Uh, there was no signs. There was n I found two brochures that were kind of buried on a wall somewhere. I really had to dig for them. So I waited in line for 45 minutes and talked to the individual at the counter who basically proceeded to tell me that it was a $13.50 charge to get the voter ID, you know, the state ID card, mm -hmm. uh, which I knew you could get one for free, so I asked him about the affidavit. Uh, he proceeded to tell me that that was not for people that have ever had an ID card. He said that if you've had one in Pennsylvania in the past, you have to pay the $13.50. The free ID is for people that, say, move in from another state, never had an ID card before, they could get the free one. But if you've ever had an ID in Pennsylvania, you had to pay the $13.50 for the card. And you know better than that. Absolutely. That is not correct. That is not what the law says. Okay. And you said you stood in line for about 45 minutes, right? It was a good 45 minutes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so... Being a veteran, you probably have a certain amount of experience with standing. I do, actually, yes. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, for elderly voters, for disabled voters, that 45 minutes is quite a wait. It is. There's no waiting room in that uh, building. It's a long hallway. There's maybe one or two seats there. Uh, and when I got there, uh, I got there a little bit before they opened. There was already 12 to 14 people in line. Oh, okay. So as soon as that door opened and the line started, if you thought you were going to get a seat, forget it. You so know, first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Yeah. You got it. And when did you go? Um, it was, the, they opened at 8.30, so I got there like around, you know, 8.15 or so. And what time of year was this? This was It was July 3rd. It was July just, 3rd. Mm -hmm. So about a month ago, um, and I think as of April, PennDOT, uh, according to the Department of State, was fully trained and telling everybody the right information. That's what they said, but I can tell you that that's not the case. That's they've they've had case. more than enough time to, to know this stuff, and they don't. So at this point, how do you feel about this uh, voter ID requirement? Well, I mean, I'm against the law. I mean, it, it does nothing more than suppress an individual's right to vote. And, you know, you're dealing with an agency that doesn't even have accurate information out there to begin with. So it's a little tough out there. You think the state's doing enough to uh, let uh, registered eligible voters to help them get the ID they need? Absolutely not. No, not my opinion on that is no. I mean, they, they don't even have the right information. So how are they going to help you if they don't know what they're doing? Absolutely. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Steve. We appreciate you, uh, you know, taking the time to go out and check out PennDOT and to come back and testify. No problem. Thank you. Thanks.